at Bergamo, our children leave us with this incredible set of skills. But that's not our main goal. Our main goal really is to help the child discover that they are good at learning, that they know how to learn, and that they get really, really excited about their learning. I started the school in Woodland um, in 1975 for my daughter, Wendy, who was four years old. After I spent the first three years at home with her, I thought about going back to work and I read a book that had a section about Montessori in there and I just was electrified and this is what I want to do. But there was no school in Woodland. I got so excited about Montessori, it was just what I had to have for my child. It wasn't there, so I created it. 1990, while the school was still operating in Woodland, I decided I wanted to do something in Sacramento. And so I started Montessori Country Day. We hired an architect and designed this building. My daughter was attending a Montessori school in Oakland, and we found out we were moving here. We said, Can, do you have any advice for us? They said, there's only one really to consider in Sacramento, and that's the Bergamo Montessori School. We came here and we knew it was the right fit, and it's continued to be the right fit for the three years we've been here. When Jake was uh, about 16 months old, I had him in um, what was called daycare preschool. He would cry when I took him to school, he would cry when I picked him up, and I couldn't sleep at night. And it lasted two weeks and I took him out of the school. Talked to at least three or four Bergamo parents and they couldn't say enough about the school. So I made an appointment to come in. Immediately fell in love with Pam Lynn. There's this level of integrity that she has and a passion for, for children that you can just feel it's palpable here. It was very, very hard to find, I think, what was suitable, what I would consider suitable preschool for my kids. So when I finally walked into this campus, um, uh, there was classical music piping through the uh, schools. There were like 30 kids, but it was pin drop silence. And these were, you know, two-year-olds. Uh, I've never walked into a classroom like that. My son Jake's a very energetic spirit. Um, and I was worried, you know, the classrooms here are, are so calm. I was wondering, you know, is, is he going to work in this calm environment? But it really channels his energy positively. When we walked away, my husband and me didn't know anything about Montessori. And we really thought, maybe it's a cult. <laughs> and then we went in and read about it. And I was, um, I, we loved it. Montessori education is absolutely amazing. There's no other time in life that is more important than these years between birth and six. No other time. The human child throughout the world can learn anything effortlessly and easily because of this absorbent mind. That was Maria Montessori's biggest discovery, that a child will copy the way you walk, they will say whatever you say, they can learn five different languages accent-free, perfect grammar, they can learn anything. The things that they learn between the ages of three and six are going to stay with them throughout their entire life. Um, the ability to read, the ability to write, the ability to be socially adapted, the ability to work with one another gracefully, they will need all of these things to be able to complete schooling for the rest of their life. So to give your child Right now, as a three-year-old, the self-confidence about learning, I can learn anything and I'm good at it. My goodness, how great to watch your child go through those later years with that joy and excitement. It's very exciting to be a part of something like that. In 2004, we decided to start yet another school. Parents had been so pleased with the education that their children had received here that they kept encouraging us to start an elementary program. That's a lot of work. <laughs> I resisted it, but finally I said, okay. So we began the Bergamo Elementary School. When I started the school in 1975, I had absolutely no idea where this was going to go. There was a newspaper article, if 
Pam can find 18 students, the Montessori School will come to our community. So we were able to do it. And now we're at about 350 families and three sites. The Bergamo program, it really does instill confidence. It allows the child to, to run their own race. They don't have to follow the pace of some other child. They can go at their own pace as far as learning how to read or learning different mathematical concepts. Um, so my daughter may learn to read at five years old, where my son learned to read at four years old. But at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. They, they both get there, and they, don't, they didn't feel that unnecessary pressure as far as you know they needed to get there by a certain age. The preschool, kindergarten, classroom academically would go through the end of third grade. So that leaves a lot of room for children to, you know, go as far as they can. Academically, the program in the first through third grade goes way, way out into uh, seventh and eighth grade curriculum. So again, a child can work out as far as they are interested in and have the ability to do. My husband and I are both former teachers. As educators ourselves, we feel like teaching and learning works best when the instruction is individualized. And we wanted a school where there were both a way of teaching that we as educators believed in, and kind teachers and adults to be around our children. And at the end of the day, our child would be spending their hours with another adult and we wanted to make sure that our children were with adults that are caring and thoughtful and spoke to our children the way that we speak to them and hold the same values and are kind to our children and like them. We wanted them to be around adults that like them. And we found that here at this school. There's nothing more important to me that my son is safe and he's happy it's knowing that there's a true commitment to the child's well-being, to the child's learning, to his happiness. Every human that comes into the world has some gift. Our job as teachers is to find what that gift is that that child has been given and to help them develop that to the fullest extent of their potential. I think that that's really important that we find a way for each child to be successful in the way that they excel. Montessori is an amazing system of education and it's something that you really have to see for yourself. Foundations are built between birth and six years of age. Nothing is more important than these foundations, but I really invite you to come in and take a look for yourself. Seeing is believing and I know you will be so excited about what you're going to see.